Hey folks, Paul here. Um, if you're looking for the, my boat building series, uh, right now uh, it's about 10 degrees out and even I'm not that crazy to be mixing epoxy in this weather. I did want to do a quick uh, show about my beehive that I built and uh, I want to show you the, the parts of a beehive. Uh, I've got the, this beehive right here. It's a war a hive. And the first part I'm going to show you is the top. Uh, the top, what the top does is it keeps the heat of the sun out, uh, keeps the rain off. There's ventilation underneath this cap right here. Uh, it's nailed down, but uh, it does allow water vapor to escape. And that's important because uh, a hive of bees uh, has, does have water vapor. The next part is a quilt, and this is really just uh, uh, sawdust in a box with a canvas cloth stapled to the box holding it all in. Uh, this quilt is there for insulation, much like in a house. The quilt also allows water vapor to escape. Uh, this is a piece of canvas cloth that's been soaked in a, a rye uh, mixture, rye and water paste, and uh, that's really just to keep the bees from wearing at the uh, quilt. This is a hive body. This body, uh, the Ware Hive, is a top bar hive. Uh, what I've done with this one is um, I put uh, brads in and it allows me to fairly easily pull these out. Uh, what's going to happen, one of the things that uh, I'm going to be doing is uh, when I get the package of bees, I'm going to thump it so that all the bees fall in and it will be on top of the other hive body there. And then uh, I'll also have put the uh, queen in her, in her little box inside the hive as well and then I have to put these parts back in and I'll probably be pretty nervous because I'll have a couple thousand bees around me but uh, essentially the bees uh, make their comb they attach it to this bar and it come, goes down in this way that's the hive body I've actually got three hive bodies And this is the base. Uh, the hive body sits across here and the entrance is here. And uh, really there's no connection between the hive body and the base. It's just flat and the bees will fill in any openings. Uh, the way that you manage a war a hive is you really don't uh, bother the bees very much. You uh, in about April, what you do is you take a third or fourth hive body, you lift the existing hive bodies off of the base, you put a new hive body, a fresh one on the bottom, and you put the other hive bodies back on that new one. So what you have is three hive bodies tall, and then with the, uh, the canvas wear fabric, the quilt, and the top. And then uh, in the fall, maybe August or September, late summer, uh, when you harvest, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, uh, take the top hive body and that will have mainly honey, very little of the brood cells of the, of the uh, larvae, and uh, then you will take that hive body and harvest the comb and honey out of that. So that's a quick explanation of the Vare hive. Uh, my bees are due in in uh, about 30 days, uh, I'm sorry, 90 days, and uh, we're hoping that uh, the trees will be blooming at that time. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching the War A Hive.